modern day cities are formed when millions of people come together. People have always felt the need for rules and regulations in order to guarantee their peace and security. It would be impossible to do that without them. Another fact about the modern life of society is individualism. Each individual in a society has his own aims and plans. Most individuals put their interests before anything else. The interests of society and other people come after those. That selfish morality means there are poor, hungry, and homeless people all over the world. Let us now imagine an enormous city. Imagine hundreds of thousands of individuals living in it, yet no one considers his own interests. On the contrary, they put the interests of society and others first. Imagine everyone working with great self-sacrifice, with no terrible urge to be first. Imagine there is no conflict there. Such a society probably goes beyond the bounds of human imagining. Yet such a society does really exist on the earth. And what is more, just about everywhere on it. The living things that constitute that miraculous society are ants. live in colonies of hundreds of thousands and even millions of individuals. Every one in the colony carries out its responsibilities to the full. No one creates any problems over its position or job. The important thing is the survival of the colony of which it is a part. To that end, each one will give up its life if necessary. It is impossible to find one hungry or homeless individual. That is because there is an enormous cooperation, harmony and sharing between them. As you can see, even a single drop of water is shared. Foodstuffs are collected and stored in the nest to be shared out again. There is absolutely no selfishness among ants. Not one is at a loose end. Each one is part of a giant organization. Each one is devoted to the part of the organization outside itself. With their social life and social organization so superior to that of man, ants are all proof of God's art of creation. Let us now consider a few species of ant and together see the miracles of creation manifested in these tiny creatures. We are in the rainforests of Australia. These trees host one of the best organized colonies in the world, weaver ants. Just six millimeters long, weaver ants build their own nests.
nest construction takes place thanks to miraculous cooperation. The principal materials used are leaves. The first stage is to bring all leaves together so that they can be joined. Weaver ants cling to each other and form a living chain to do this. Then they pull the other end of the leaf towards them. Here is where the most surprising technique is employed. The worker ant you are watching is carrying a larva, its as yet unborn sister. It takes it to the exact spot where the leaves will be stuck together. The larva immediately starts to produce a sticky thread. As we can see, the worker ant weaves this tiny glue gun between the leaves and stitches them together. Adult ants are unable to produce the thread used as glue. The tiny larva gives up all the thread it needs for itself for the good of the colony. It is thus unable to complete its development and become a normal adult. Yet that sacrifice does not go unrewarded. The worker ants will care for it in the nest until the end of its life. Stitching the leaves calls for enormous cooperation. That is why some workers operate on the inside and others on the outside. That allows the leaves to be joined together in the strongest possible way. The structures that then emerge are miracles of engineering from the point of view of building technology, strength, and ease of use. Ants feel no need for any supervision or management, but miraculously know at what spots the leaves are to be clamped together and what places they must pass the thread through. That is why scientists describe the way these tiny creatures act like a single brain as a miracle. These small creatures have no powers of reason and no leader telling them what to do. Yet they 